Hello and welcome to the EDED Employer How-To Video Series. This lesson is going to talk about how to create record of employments for your employees. EDED Employer offers two methods for creating ROEs and both methods can be used as needed during the payroll cycle. The first method we'll discuss is how to create an electronic file for uploading to the ROE web internet site. The second method we'll look at is creating a manual copy for printed or PDF use. And we'll also discuss how to create an ROE if you're in the middle of a pay cycle. Let's begin by logging into the program. And we'll choose the payroll service. And then we'll choose the employee menu, status parameters command. This screen allows us to change the status accordingly for each employee who is to be issued an ROE. Enet Employer allows you to create an ROE at any time for a variety of purposes. For example, if an employee is leaving the company or is going on maternity or another type of leave, you can create a single ROE just for the one person. You can also create a batch of ROEs for multiple employees at one time. This might be necessary if you need to change your payroll's pay frequency or if your company's business number is changing for some reason. Typically, most payroll managers wait until the end of a pay cycle to create their ROEs. This is a standard approach where they simply assign a last pay status to the exiting employee to prevent them from being included in any subsequent payrolls. However, if your province requires that you provide the exiting employee with an ROE prior to the end of your next pay cycle, you can do so easily by creating an extra pay run so that you can pay the employee and create the corresponding ROE that includes the final payment information. Let's begin by creating an electronic file for uploading to the ROE web internet site and then we'll complete the lesson by creating a manual copy for PDF or printed use. As mentioned earlier, the status parameter screen allows us to change the status as needed for each employee who is to be issued an ROE. So let's edit one of the employee's rows by double clicking on it. And this will let us examine the various status options. Let's zoom in a little bit. If the person's employment is being terminated or they are leaving the job permanently for another reason, you would set their status to last pay and then calculate and close the pay before creating the ROE. After the payroll is closed, the program will automatically set the employee status to terminated, indicating that they are to be excluded from any subsequent payrolls. Note that the program uses the word terminated here generically, and it simply means that the person is no longer in the payroll. It is applicable in a number of cases, such as if the person is retiring from the company, quitting the job, or for a permanent layoff, and so on. If an employee is going on an extended leave, you would set their status to on leave to indicate that the next pay run will be the employee's last pay for an extended period of time. For our demo, we're going to choose last pay. Now that we've set the employee status, we move to the termination date cell and enter the final date of employment. This cell is important because the ROE web program will require a specific date in order to process correctly. We save the row to complete the status parameters for the employee and now we're ready to calculate and close the pay so we can generate the ROE web electronic file. So let's choose the payroll processing calculations command and then we'll calculate and close the pay. And as is the case before closing any pay, we must do a backup first. And once our backup is complete, we can close the pay.
Once the payroll is closed, we can choose the Payroll Processing Reports menu command. When the screen appears, you can double-click on the Web Record of Employment row in the table. In this case, it's at the top. If this row is not present in your table, simply choose the Web Record of Employment option from the drop-down list beside the New button. This creates a new row in the table, and it's all ready for editing. So now we'll move to the employee cell and place a check in the box for each employee that requires an ROE. In this case, Gregory House. The final step is to save the row and then choose the Generate Report button to produce the file. Depending on your browser settings, the electronic file will either be stored in your Downloads folder or you may be presented with a dialog box that will prompt you where to save the file. For our demonstration, we're using the Google Chrome browser, so if I choose the Show in Folder command, there's my Web Record of Employment file with the BLK extension ready for submission to Service Canada. So let's move on to the second part of our lesson, which is how to create a manual ROE. The steps are identical to the beginning part of this lesson in that you set the employee status to last pay and then you calculate and close the payroll. The only difference being is that you choose record of employment instead of web record of employment. So let's edit that row and we'll set the employees who are going to be included. Again, Gregory House. and then we'll save the row. Now we choose the Generate Report button. Again, depending on your browser settings, the PDF file will either be stored in your Downloads folder or you may be presented with a dialog box that will prompt you where to save the file. In this case, we'll choose the Show in Folder command and there's our PDF file. If we double click on the PDF, comes up on the screen and you can see that there's no serial number so it's just to be used for review purposes. The final portion of this lesson will talk about creating an ROE before the end of a pay cycle. If you need to do that you can do so by creating an extra pay run so that you can pay the employee and create the corresponding ROE that includes their final payment information. Let's walk through a quick example. Similar to the previous portion of the lesson, the first step is to open the Employee Status Parameters screen and assign our employee the appropriate status. In this case, we'll work with Anita Wilson. Because a separate pay run is being created for this single person, you must set their status to Special. When used in conjunction with an extra pay run, the program will calculate only those employees that have the special status assigned. Once we've set the employee status, we can move to the termination date cell and enter the final date of employment. And then we can save the row. With the status parameters now complete for the employee, it's time to create the extra pay run. So let's choose the Payroll Processing Calculations menu command. And once the screen appears, we can choose the New button located at the top of the table. The new payroll sequence appears at the top row of the table and is assigned the normal type. This will need to be changed. So let's scroll over and change the pay type to extra. This pay type is typically used when processing terminated employees that have worked a certain amount of hours into the next pay period. 
Extra pays are taxed the same as normal pays, but they're simply paid in advance of the next normal pay run. Move to the start date cell to verify or update the beginning date of the current pay run as needed, and do the same for the end date. And lastly, move to the pay date cell and enter the date on which the employee will receive their final pay. Then save the row. Now we can calculate and close the payroll as normal. Create a backup. And then close the pay. Once the payroll is closed, we can choose the Payroll Processing Reports command. And now we can choose whichever type of employment record we need. The Web Record of Employment for the electronic version, or the Record of Employment for the manual printed one. So let's choose the ROE Web option, and then move to the Employee cell and place a check in the box for the employee that requires the ROE. In this case, Anita Wilson. Now we can save the row and generate the report. This completes a lesson on how to create an ROE in Enid Employer. We hope you found it useful and ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Have a great day!